you know, I think fencing, anything, you have to set a high bar and really believe in yourself and find the best teachers you can and the best teammates you can or friends. And uh, if you have those elements, I think you can go pretty far. My mother's advice to like take everything like one at a time, like one touch at a time. All you can ask for is opportunity, and once you have opportunity, you can do what you want with it. So that's the best advice I ever got. Uh, keep your head down and keep working hard. It's a really long road, it's a really long journey. There are more downs than ups, but you have to stay focused and keep going. For all stars! Faut uh, toujours s'accrocher, rester uh, concentré sur, uh, sur son objectif, et avoir envie de réussir et s'amuser, ça, ça va aller. Tout le monde peut y arriver. Work hard. Uh, the best advice is to take a loss. Um, I think that, you know, it, learning how to take a loss is a very important uh, thing. You know, it's not just, you know, you kind of throw your hands up in the air and say, you know, I, I suck or, you know, to be negative about yourself. Um, you just got to understand that, yes, there are things that you did wrong, but there's also, you know, let's say you lost about 15-13 there are 13 things that you did correctly. So to focus on that and just say, you know, maybe I need to capitalize on those things or you try to switch too many times. So I think it's taking a loss, but looking at it in a positive light um, is one of the greatest uh, advices that I received in fencing. I would say, you know, trust yourself as an athlete. You have to go out there and there's really only you ultimately on this trip and you can't look to external sources, whether it's the referee or your parents or your coach or your teammates. It's, it's really you out there. You have to take responsibility for your own preparation and what you do when the moment calls for it uh, during a match. And it, it's on you to prepare and be ready for that. So uh, just shoulder that responsibility, embrace it and enjoy it and do what you need to do, what you, what you know deep down that you need to do to prepare and be ready. So I, I say that's uh, what we all need to do as athletes. Like you gotta work on the process. Like you can't, you can talk about actions in the lessons, but like ultimately like when you're on the strip, like you gotta know the footwork that you wanna do to set up the touch. And if you can get those moments, you'll score. Thanks. To enjoy the sport, uh, it's sometimes hard to forget uh, because we're just traveling so much and competing all the time. But really, if you don't enjoy it, uh, you're not as creative and you don't do as well, which isn't very fun. So uh, enjoying the sport. Everyone has their ups and downs in sports, in fencing, um, and that even if you're at your low point, like there's always a higher point. So. What about you, Lee? For me, it was more like this is just like a game and this is like a fun part of your life and you should enjoy it, not... I mean, you need to be serious, but not too serious. <laughs> Balance is the key. <laughs> like literally. 